Welcome back to Living 808. It is Dinner and a Movie Thursday, and we have some movie previews coming up. But first, we have the scoop from Hollywood. Here's Mikey. Thanks, John and Tanya. Well, everybody, some movie fans have been clamoring about a different version of a successful but widely criticized superhero movie. Now, it looks like they'll get their wish. David Daniel has all the details in today's Hollywood Minute. It's good to see you playing well with others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. Director Zack Snyder had to step away from Justice League before finishing the 2017 film due to a family crisis. Now his vision may finally reach audiences. Snyder and HBO Max confirm his cut will debut on the streaming service next year. According to The Hollywood Reporter, he's assembling a post-production team and may even bring back actors to record new dialogue for what could be released as either six separate chapters or one nearly four-hour film. The simulation just went bad, but you're the best I Machine Gun Kelly's new music video won't do much to quell rumors he's dating Megan Fox. The actress is front and center in the clip for Bloody Valentine, which racked up more than half a million views in its first few hours online. It's the first single from Kelly's upcoming album, Tickets to My Downfall. Am I stranger if I don't recognize myself? It might seem strange that Tracy Ellis Ross, daughter of Diana, had never sung in public before. That's changed with her starring role in The High Note. This is one of the songs she performs in the film, Love Myself. You can see and hear more when The High Note debuts on demand May 29th. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Dinner DNA, good to hear that. We have